Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, how do you handle multiple windows and find the required element on a particular window? Out of multiple windows, this element is there on a particular window. We have to find the element on a particular window and perform activity or action on that particular element on a particular window. So in Selenium WebDriver, we have commands like get window handles, get window handle and switch to dot window commands using which we can handle multiple windows and we can find the element on a particular window and thereafter we can perform the required activity on that found element on that particular window. Let me practically demonstrate this for you. So before I practically demonstrate this, let me show you manually how the multiple windows exist and uh, how which element we have to find using automation and all, okay? For that, I'll open this browser, take you to this application, omai.blogspot.com. After going to this application, there's a link here. If I use Selenium Automation Script to click on this link, it will open the new window in a new tab, okay? Now, at this moment, we have two windows, first tab window and second tab window. Similarly, on this page, when I click on open a pop-up window, okay, this third window is coming. First window, second window, and third window. Total, how many windows are there? Three windows are there. Out of these three windows, I would like to find this element known as a paragraph of text. I would like to perform some activity like uh, retrieve this particular text from this window and print in the output console of Eclipse ID. That's what I want to do. After that, I would like to close all the browser windows. Okay. So that's what is the activity I would like to do. So how to do that? Okay. So by default, when you run your Selenium automation script, Selenium focus will be there only on the main window, original window or default window. And when you click on this link, it will open the new tab, but Selenium is not here. Selenium is still here only, okay? Even though new window comes, the Selenium focus is still there here. And after you click on this open a pop-up window, you got this pop-up window, but still the Selenium focus is there here only, okay? If you try to perform any uh, actions or operations on this element on this, uh, uh, this new window, then it's not going to happen because Selenium focus is still there here. We have to move the Selenium focus from here to here to perform the activity. Okay. So let me practically show you how to perform this uh, uh, activity of finding this element on the particular window and retrieving the steps and etc. So for that, uh, I would like to switch to the Eclipse ID here. I'll clear this stuff. So till here, we have opened the Chrome browser, maximize the browser window. After that, uh, we have opened the application url in the browser okay we have opened the application url in the browser okay so open the chrome browser maximize the browser and open the application url in the browser once the application url is open in the browser i would like to click on to get multiple windows okay during the automation script i would like to get multiple windows so to get uh, another window apart from this original window if you want to get another child window i have to click on this link i'll inspect this link so it has an id copy this id and simply write down the code that is a uh, driver dot find element by dot id give the id locator dot click say simply say click okay once you say click okay so you'll get this new window and again the selenium focus is still there here so you simply click on this link open a pop-up window link now to get another window total three windows you'll get now so this is a link text, copy this link text, copy this and write down the code driver dot find element uh, by dot uh, link text, by dot link text dot click. This will open another window. Total three windows will be open. Apart from this uh, window, we'll have this uh, new tab window and pop-up window, okay? So now run the script uh, so to see whether you are getting multiple windows or not. Right click run as. The obligation. You will get multiple windows open. Okay. The original window or default window is coming. Then you will get multiple windows. You see, you got uh, three windows now. One, two, three. One window in new tab, another window in new pop-up kind of thing. Okay. You got three windows, but my ultimate requirement is to retrieve this particular text. How to retrieve the text? I'll show you. Okay. I would like to retrieve the text there. Okay. So how to do that? I'll show you. So without handling windows, if I try to do that, what's going to happen? Let's see. Okay. Without hand, without handling the windows, without switching the focus of the selenium from one window to another window to directly try to perform or find an element on uh, the new window, it's not going to happen. For example, 
this particular text I would like to retrieve. Okay, right click, inspect. So it has an ID, copy this ID. Now here write down driver dot find element by dot ID, give that ID and say dot get text, text between the text to retrieve. String text is equal to now simply say system dot out dot print element text. That's it. Now save this. Right click, run as Java application. You are not going to uh, get the text retrieved and printed in the output console. Rather, you are going to get some no such element exception because you are trying to get some text of a particular element which is or in a child window without switching the Selenium focus from the default window to the child window. You are trying to do that. So what's going to happen here is you are going to get no such element exception because Selenium is not able to find that element on the new window. What we have to do, we have to switch to that particular window. How to switch to the particular window? For that, we have to use these commands, get window handles, get window handle and switch to dot window commands. So let me practically show you how to do that. Uh, so I'll remove this line. And here, here at this point, guys, after opening the Chrome browser, after maximizing the browser window, after opening the application URL, here at this point, of course, there will be only one window that's the original window or default window open. So what I will do is I'll simply say driver dot get window handle only one window since only one window will be there at this moment. I just capture the unique idea of that window using get window handle, which will be returned in the form of a string string parent window window ID okay? parent window some unique parent window ID will be retrieved here. After that, I would like to click on this link, click on this thing. multiple windows will be there. Then how to capture all the three windows along with this window? Now we have two more windows here. One is a new tab, another one is a pop-up window. So how to capture all the three windows now? For that, driver dot get window handles. How to say get window handles? The semicolon. And it will return you a set of strings. All the window IDs in the form of set of strings will be returned. Uh, window IDs, I'll say, is equal to for the mouse. Say create local variable set of string of window IDs. That's good. Now, what next? Driver dot get window handles. Okay. Once you get a set of window IDs, I'll write down. Now uh, I would like to iterate. Okay. Uh, that is a. Uh, so, right. Uh, for. So we can say for. Each and every window ID is a string. So I'll say string. Window ID, colon, window IDs. For each and every window ID, we are going to iterate. Okay, that is the logic. Let's see whether this will work or not. Otherwise, we'll go for other logic. For each and every window ID, we are iterating. So for each and every window ID, we are iterating. And initially, once you get this window ID, we'll simply say driver dot switch to dot window of give this window ID. Okay. One of the window ID will be coming. We don't know which window it is. It's a parent window, default window, new tab window, or pop window. We don't know. But we'll simply randomly switch to because set of strings uh, will be storing in the random format. So we, which window we don't know. Now we dot switch to dot window of window ID. After switching to one of the particular window, uh, I would like to retrieve this particular text. I would like to retrieve this particular text, right? Right click in switch. Uh, it is the ID is there, para one. Now here I'll simply say driver dot find element by dot id like this and say dot get text get text like this. But there is a problem here. Spring I'll say text is equal to and there is a problem here. And I would like to retrieve and print the text here. The problem here is if we switch to a wrong window, this window uh, this element will not be available. And because of which you'll get no such element exception. In such cases, I'll give try block. Try block here. Then say catch exception E or no such element exception, you can say otherwise. Directly give no such element exception. And uh, here, simply close the browser. Okay. If the element is not there, it, it, there's no need of opening it, right? Simply close that uh, browser, okay? Over the mouse and import it from Selenium library. This is what you are going to do. Otherwise, you are going to print. Otherwise, you are going to close the browser. Only two of the activities. 
So here, if in case, if in case we have found that uh, element and the text has been printed, there is no need to stay here, right? There is no need to stay here. I'll simply say driver dot which. And after driver dot which, I would like to exit this loop. Okay, how to exit this loop? In order to exit this loop, uh, we can write down um, break break statement. That's it. Okay, and this single parent window ID is not required here in this case. Okay, or only intention is to find the element. If it is found, uh, you will simply perform the activity and quit, quit all the browser windows and break. Otherwise, you will close one by one. So that's it. Uh, let's run this script and see whether this thing is happening or not. Despite of multiple windows coming, we have to find the element on a particular window and perform the activity on that element. If uh, the element is not there and on there on the switcher window, then we are going to uh, handle the exception. Okay, that's how we have written the code. Multiple windows should come. Browsers are closing. Okay. You see everything. Paragraph of text got also retrieved. That means this house, we can write some code and uh, get the things done. Okay. How do you handle multiple windows and find the required element? So this is a way to do it. Okay. This is one of the way to do it. Uh, you have, you may have other ways also, but uh, this is one of the best way to do it. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.